All right, the first thing you need to do is lower down the telescopic handle. You do that via the buttons on the inside here. Then you're gonna pull up on these triggers and that allows the entire chassis to fold down. Then you can pull up on that seat adjustment mechanism and just make the stroller a bit flatter. If you look around on the other side, it's not absolutely necessary you're doing this, but uh, if you would like, you can also lock this folded. I'm just gonna pull up on that little um, lever there and it'll snap onto a peg here and hold the chassis tight, yeah? All right, in order to open it up again, you of course need to remove that if you've locked it. And then it's just a matter of pulling up on that handle and the whole stroller will snap back into place. Starting out with the seat on and in the reverse facing, you wanna make sure that the front wheels are locked, the swivel locks are engaged, and you wanna apply the brakes. The seat needs to be aiming downwards in this position, like this, you put back the canopy. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is up here on the handle, you have your main button that adjusts the height of the handle. Underneath is an unlocking button. So you're gonna depress both buttons and then you're going to push it all the way in. You have to use a little bit of force. Then you're gonna allow the handle to drop down. You can grab the back of the uh, seat frame and fold it in and it'll fold right into its one piece standing fold. In order to fold this up again, we're just going to lift up, flick everything out, and the lock back in place, the chassis will. You can adjust your seat as you like and your handle. In order to get that handle back up, by the way, when it's in that lowest position, you do have to depress both buttons to begin with, get it up above a certain point, and then you just need the one button to adjust height. All right, with the seat forward facing, the process is pretty much identical, other than the fact that the seat is going to fold forwards in this case. Then you're gonna pull up on those triggers, fold the stroller down like that. When it's folded down, you can then lock it in place if you would like, and it will stand up as a standing fold sort of a thing, and one could even, with the brake off, sort of wheel it around if you found such a thing useful. With the seat facing forwards, you want the seat in its most upright position. You put back the canopy. Swivel locks are still locked, brakes are applied, and we're gonna do this the same way. Just press both buttons, give it a little bit of a slam, it'll unlock, and then you can lower down that seat frame. Lift up on that seat frame and rock the front end in, and it'll go straight into its one-piece standing bolt. You fold this down as small as possible, like if space is an issue, it's a matter of taking it apart as well. So you're going to want to remove then the seat unit. You just pull up on those triggers there. You can take it off. You can also remove the wheels here. So if we pull it up on edge, under here, right underneath the chassis, is a button, and that allows you to unlock the rear wheels. On the other side. When it comes to the front wheels, in order to remove them, you're going to press in on this button here on the fork, and then you can pull them right off. And then in the end, you can fold down the chassis just as you were doing with all the components attached. And it will get even smaller. And that will allow you to save the maximum amount of room if you need to put this in a, in a trunk with some other stuff for a trip or something. You can make this seat unit a little bit smaller simply by folding the backboard all the way in. It becomes a little bit more cubic in a way. In order to get this as small as possible, you're going to put back the canopy. You can, of course, take your bumper bar off, which is those buttons on the inside of the bumper bar. And remove the seat frame by pressing in those two memory buttons. And then we can remove the wheels from the chassis in order to get it a little bit smaller. So there's a button here on the inside facing of the rear frame. Remove both rear wheels. Then for the front wheels, the button to remove them is right here on the front of the front frame. So to press it and they'll slide right out. Then we can fold down the chassis the same way. So to press both buttons, press it in until it unlocks, let the handle fall down, and the chassis will fold down naturally a lot smaller.
When it comes to the seat frame, you fold this portion in, and then here under the seat frame are these mechanical elements that lock the seat into its like upright or open position. And if you press in on the baseboard, you'll unlock this point here, and that allows you to fold the whole seat frame flat. Now, in case you are packing the trunk to go on holiday and space is a bit of an issue, you can get all your elements together and they'll take up a lot less space than if you were to just use that uh, one piece fold.